having said that, we have to probably, we have to agree that there's also a shift in methodological approach. Not like you have different objects. So yes. You have to have different... Uh, well, precisely, know, yeah. You know, the, the collection of methods, right? Yes. Well, the point is, this is why I think these ideas are so important and the question you pose is so important because that, um, that shift in, in paradigm from the idea of the objective rational entity to the socially constructed one right. reflects a much deeper uh, discussion uh, and debate in the social sciences between whether uh, reality is an objective existence or whether it is socially constructed. And so, um, uh, the way I capture this in, in the work with uh, Gibson Burrell is, is in terms of the subjective objective dimension, right? I, I remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, once you start to recognize that, then you begin to recognize that the methodologies appropriate mm -hmm. to the core assumptions that you're bringing sure. to the study of organizations will be very, very different. Absolutely. So, the objectivist. You, you get out from the technical systems, right? And you go into social systems, and there are different methods. Sometimes. Precisely, precisely. And uh, the whole point is that uh, the traditional scientific method is ideal for studying organizations as objective realities right. for the old functionalist model, but that isn't the way that you can really understand organizations as socially constructed enterprises that are all based upon the interpretation of people. So that the methodologies of organizations, uh, organizational theory, have uh, in the subjectivist domain in the interpretive domain have much more in contact with uh, the humanities and the way we seek to understand life and social life right. as opposed yeah. to the, uh, uh, the scientific model. Now, uh, these debates have emerged uh, with increasing force uh, since the 1970s, mm -hmm. but there's still this cont uh, contention and mm -hmm. people seem uh, often to be locked into the boxes. They don't understand um, uh, what the issues are, yeah, the these concepts then become the basis for scientific analysis. Yes. So you start to look, for example, uh, of cause-effect relationships between uh, this variable or concept and that concept, etc., etc. And so what happens if you engage in this type of science? Uh, you get preoccupied with the measurement of concepts. Okay, yes. and what that does, as you focus on the concept. Uh, the concept or concepts become the figures of attention and you lose the focus on the ground or the context. Mm -hmm. And so what I think uh, has happened in a lot of academia is that we've become so preoccupied with discussion, discussing and measuring the relationship between concepts that we've lost the contextual uh, element and we, the con contextual understanding because as most people know that are actually working in organizations or studying organizations in any depth, is that all meaning is context-based. Right. And therefore, uh, in order to be able to intervene into a in a situation, you've got to have a holistic understanding of the border system, the border context. And unfortunately, what's happening in academia is that all that is lost because you can't measure it, you can't study it, you can't uh, make it scientific. So um, uh, uh, there's something not right here. <laughs> yeah, right? And um, I'm not sure I've got the answers, yeah. but I think I, I'm in a position, I hope, to start to surface some of the discussion and debate about what, yeah, what's going you know, on. 